<laughs> okay, here we go. The Star Wars AT-AT Transformer. Uh, highly detailed figure. This is the second time I'm doing this review because the first time I did this, the audio didn't work. Very movie accurate detail. Uh, my main complaint about it is the coloring on the legs. I think it should have been colored like this. I think the whole thing should have been colored like this. Uh, here this, here's the pilot, and he's highly detailed and colored. Um, if you push it up with him in there, then it doesn't work, and you can't close the cockpit. But if you take But if you take the guns off, here, um, then you can push it back with the pilot in it. Uh, as you can see from this distance, nicely detailed. Uh, articulation, the front ones are just on a, uh, peg. That's all the movement you get at with all the knees. It's just this much. Uh, you cannot put him in the one pose where one leg's like this, the other one's like this, and this one's like this, because it looks like it's falling over. <laughs> My big problem, my biggest complaint about the uh, walker mode, though, is the coloring. It should have all been something like this here, and instead it's not. Well, actually, it was supposed to look like it had been shot and all of that. Um, I'll show you on the box. But uh, the back legs are on a ball joint. And like I said, all the knees here have the same movement. The feet can turn and rock around. Uh, the front legs are the only ones that have the toes that bend. But I'll show you that in the robot mode. And I'm hoping I can get the audio lined up with the video because I have to use the Windows Movie Maker to record the narration and then the camera is separate because my Realtek is not working. But on to the robot mode. Oh, um, here's this obscene thing. I'm not going to say what it looks like, just that it's uh, obscene looking. And for those of you that know, don't leave a comment saying that you know what it looks like. Because remember, there are little kids that do watch these reviews. But, uh, you put the missile there, and it fires very quickly. Uh, I'll find that later. I ain't gonna worry about it because I don't like it. It's just too big. Uh, you pop the bottom of the AT-AT's head off, and now look. You got a snow, a souped up war snow speeder. Well, it looks like that to me anyway. But now that the jaw's off, you can push it in. And now the pilot's butt hangs out. Haha. -ha. Um, okay. 
I start by popping the panels open right there. Pull this part up like that. Um, this thing is on a double hinge, so push it up like that. And then set it back. And now it'll set down there nicely. Fold these out like this. Um, something to note, mine was package drawn. Mine was packaged like this, and according to the instructions, it should have been like this. And since it was packaged wrong, mine is fractured and broken right here and up here. But still, that's a figure worth getting. Because, uh, wait until I show you some of the features. This probably will be a three-part review. Again. Uh, um, you don't want the arms like this. You want to fold them down so this part's out. <laughs> Pull that, and turn that. Uh, well, I'm on the arms. I'll just show you the articulation here. awesome arm articulation. Get the other arm down. I'm trying to show more of the ATAT -AT than my hands. Uh, you turn the head like this. Make sure the neck is fully extended when you do that. And now you push the head down. Uh, and then you push it like this and it should lock into place uh, I'm not going by the instructions I'm going by how I would like to transform it then you drop this part down and there's your robot head or pilot head and then you just turn it around and close this back up. Listen to that. It pops. It snaps. That's a good sound. Yes, the arm is that tight. Uh, now I just stand it up. Okay, uh, show you the feet. Fold the toes up like this, so these look like aerial defense cannons because I like to fold them up like this I don't like how it shows on the box <laughs> uh, twist this around uh, now go down here pop this part off uh, take it back take these here pull this out like that do the same with the other side now turn this around and go like this and uh, turn the feet because if you don't 